Gil Brook. Stefan here, unfortunately yesterday, injured his hip, and so he was trying to figure out if it would be a smart idea to hike this today, and uh, as he's hiking the road, he's realizing he really shouldn't, and so I, alone, will be doing the rest of this hike to Colvin and Blake, and he's gonna go back to my car. Dude, that's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> For the hair too? Yeah. Welcome to Colvin and Blake of the single season winter 46. Yesterday we did tabletop and Phelps and um, I'm feeling great. I feel perfectly fine. The time is six o'clock on the dot. Uh, enjoy my misery. This is the grind guys. All right, dude. All right. So Good luck. Part ways. Got the snowshoes on. MSR Evo Ascents. Let's do this. I think I have about one and a half, 1.7 miles until I get to the base of Colvin. If you want to know what's actually going through my head right now, really just that I want to see daylight. And I have about one hour until that happens. You can see the sunlight just barely. And after 45 minutes, one mile, I think, this intersection. All right, I'm gonna need to, I need to eat something real quick. That daylight is definitely coming up. Sun rises in one hour, um, even though the sky is pretty bright. It's probably gonna take me about an hour just to get to the base of Colvin. Yeah, that sunlight's definitely coming up now. Definitely, I'm passing Indian Head on the right now. It is time to engage the ascenders. I've gone 1.7. From the road, Colvin is 1.8 miles to the right. As you can see behind me, the sun is definitely coming up now. You can see the nipple top dial ridge line right there. We have Elk Pass coming up here on the left. Should be hitting that turn off sign soon. Four point eight miles to Blake and back. I've done about four point eight miles already. The best part though is it looks like Colvin has already been moderately broken out. Not entirely, but it's not like that. I just say for the record, if it was like this, I would still do it. I think at this time I really just need to focus on getting to the top and not about the time. Cause I really wanted to get a great sunrise picture. Obviously that's not happening, but like at least a really good morning shot. So hopefully I'll still get up there by maybe nine. Ugh. This is gonna be rough. 1.1, it's only 1.1. It's an Adirondack 1.1, but it's only a 1.1, right? Right? Okay. Flippity jibbity. Here's the summit. Mm. Ah. Ah. <sighs> okay, I need to take a minute. I need to get some photos, I need to eat something, so. Oh yeah, but this is gorgeous. You got nipple top slide right here, and you got Macomb, East Dix back there. This is gonna be my 46 summit right there. You got Dial, Giant Rocky Peak Ridge back there, Indian Head with Laura, Osable Lake, 
Got the J range, the great range, lower wolf jaw, upper wolf jaw, arm strong, white face just poking up there in the back. Ooh, that's windy. Saw teeth and gothics. And over here, you got Saddleback, Basin, Little Marcy, Marcy, and the Haystack. And this Skylight, Redfield, and Cliff, Santa Nunny Range, and then Allen, right there. Okay, let's get off of this summit. Now we have 1.3 miles to Blake. The thing that I think is screwed up is that the Elk Lake Marcy Trail says 5.4 miles from right here. When back at the base of Colvin, 1.1 miles back, it said the exact same thing. Luckily, I don't have to do that today, but my hands are hurting and I need to get moving. So let's go to Blake, which by the way, Blake is my least favorite peak because when I did it, I did it, I was pretty dumb. We just brought our water bottles, left our packs down at the base of Colvin, and uh, ended up running out of water by the time we got to the top of Colvin. So super dehydrated, hot day, really bad idea, and there's not even a single view on top of Blake. Like, Blake and Cliff are by far the two worst views out of the entire park, and Blake's not even 4,000 feet. The time is 9.30. I actually spent a half an hour on top of Colvin. I really needed that. You can see Upper Osable Lake here. And there's Blake Peak, right there. That's where we're going. Woo! The good thing is that this trail is marginally broken out. I am very thankful for that. So this is gonna be the worst part of the day, is coming back up Colvin. There she is, or he in this case, I guess, because it's named Blake, in all of his glory. So yeah, we have to go all the way down here, and we're only like halfway down the mountain. We still have like another solid 300 feet to descend. And then we have a 0.4 ascent right up there to the side. Whoa! All right. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah. All right, and we have reached the very bottom. The coal is very small here. I think I'm just gonna sit on this log here for a second. Here's my debate on why I think Blake is the worst peak. Many of you think Coot to Kraga, or Allen, or Cliff, or Seymour, right after you've done the other stewards, are the worst. However, take this into consideration. Blake's not 4,000 feet. You have to go over Colvin, down a lot, and then all the way back up to Blake, and then go all the way back, just like Kooksakraga. However, there's no view on Blake, period. Kooksakraga, at least there's a view. You get something. And like right next to the summit, there's a beautiful rock that you can go and see everything else on. All right, and also the bog at Kooksakraga, like seriously, it's actually fun to get to Kooksakraga. Yeah, it's remote and like people complain that it's short and blah, blah, blah. But like seriously, dude, Blake, Blake is steep as frick. And then you have to go all the way back up Colvin, which is much harder than having to go back up to Times Square from Kooksakraga. It's 1.3 miles. What? What's to Kooksakraga? 1.6, 0.3 longer. And also Cliff. Cliff doesn't have a view. It doesn't. And that's an awful mountain to do after you've done Redfield. I'll give you that. It's challenging, okay? I would rather do Kooksakraga than Cliff. Dude, Blake's just awful. All right, we have 0.5. Half a mile to get to the summit of Blake. Oh, gosh. All right, let's do it. Angle right now of the mountain. I can start to see Colvin behind me. Oh yeah. There we go. <sighs> These are definitely gonna be some scary butt slides on the way down. We are definitely nearing the summit now. There 
she is. Uh, Blake. High peak number nine of the single winter 46 season. The worst part hasn't come. Getting the Blake, yeah, I'm technically halfway done, but getting back up Colvin, man. Oh my gosh. I'm enjoying every second of this. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Blake has the worst views on the summit of any high peak. Now, real quick, I would like to thank my sponsors for this winter series, High Peak Cyclery and Wyatt's Tex-Mex, both in Lake Placid. High Peak Cyclery, some of the best outdoor gear is sold there. They do guided trips. They are the Nordic ski specialists as well as anything related to cycling. It's also where I work, and it is a must-go-to place in Lake Placid. And Wyatt's Tex-Mex, some of the best food in Lake Placid for sure. Oh man, I love Wyatt's. <sighs> well, that being said, I'm just gonna go butt slide my way back down the Colvin, or back up rather. Oh my gosh, this is gonna suck. But hey, <laughs> we're in this together. So let's get off of this godforsaken peak. It is 11.15. The goal is to make it back to the summit of Colvin by one. Just like that, go back at the bottom. Now, there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna make this quick and painless for you guys as possible. And back to the summit. I have to make my way down this ridge here, all the way into the valley, past Indian Head right there, off through the road. All right, the time is exactly 12.54. My goal is to be at the Osable Club at three o'clock. And I can see the Osable Club from here, and that is really far. I'm not gonna show you guys too much. I'll probably show you the cool butt slides, the technological stuff of me getting down, but either way, I'm just gonna be sending it back. So there's not gonna be too much here to see. Let's go. And holy crap. Wow, that was that was super fast. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I know this was a longer video than normal, but I really hope you enjoyed the perspective and the grueling 14 and a half miles, 4,100 feet of gain it took me to take off Colvin and Blake. But I feel great. I mean, my feet hurt, but other than that, totally fine. I'm ready to hit up the Chinese restaurant today. I'm gonna get the Chinese restaurant. Anyways, thanks again so much, guys, for watching. Episode six is gonna be next, but it's gonna be great. So, you guys rock. See you next time.